All right, day four. Um, you know, we've had four great days of practice. Um, obviously, had a good one on Saturday, uh, about two and a half hours long, probably. One of our longer ones just seemed to go. Um, but uh, first day of pad, you know, we had two shorts, or spiders, I guess, um, and then two pads days, Saturday pads, today pads. But I like where we are after four. Kids are working hard, um, you know, playing tough. Um, you know, I had too many pad penalties Saturday that came out today and cleaned all that up. So, um, you know, four days in. Um, and then we go Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. So, questions? Last year was the first time in a long time that you've had a quarterback competition to go through in the spring and, and summer. Were the lessons you learned from going through that last year that kind of impact how you approach it this year? Yeah, a little bit. I don't, I don't know if we learned any lessons going through, you know. I mean, you know, there's competition in every position. I don't know if, you know, if there's something that we should have learned, let me know. Um, maybe I'll learn it now. But, uh, I mean, competition is competition. I mean, you know, we got competition in every position. It's no different than the quarterback position uh, that we have now. I mean, that room is loaded. We got some really good players in that room. Um, you know, uh, besides a Kenny Pickett type guy, I mean, that room is as deep as it's been as far as just when I mean, you walk out there and look at him, you're like, wow, that looks like a, you know, looks like a group of guys there. So, um, you know, I don't know what we learned, but. Um, that w what's a room where you have really good competition? Are you really happy with the depth of competition? You know, depth and competition, those are two different, uh, you know, two different things. I think the defensive ends, I mean, you look at, you know, Haba, who's here today, he's leaving, and Deslin, and, and uh, you know, that, that position's wide open. You know, I got you're going to talk to Nakai Johnson today, who's really had four really good days. You know, I'm assuming today was good. Um, he's had four really good days. I mean, it's nice to see him step up. Um, you know, I think he had good uh, bowl practices as well going to that UCLA game. So it's just he is, you know, started off spring ball where he left off. But I'd say that, that the end room. I mean, Dayon's playing real well, but when you got Nakai and Sam and Bam Brima, I mean, all those guys, it, there's a battle going on there right now. Nate Temple, um, there's a battle going on there. You know, um, you know, Dorian Johnson moved over from D tackle to guard. So, I mean, he's getting a ton of reps with the twos today. And, um, didn't get as many Saturday, but you know, just develop. I mean, there's it, 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 there's it's it's every spot. You know, I feel good with our depth everywhere. Um, as far as we know, we're not shy anywhere. As far as just not having enough guys to practice, which is good. We just got to stay healthy through spring. How's Elliot looking so far? Elliot looks good. Elliot's played a little defensive end, a little D tackle. Uh, you know, again, he's just growing. But I think some guys they just want to automatically come in and be the guy, and it, it takes time. But he's he's developing. He's getting better, and. Um, you know, Ellie's doing a nice job too. I think this might be the second off season where you didn't lose any coaches, any position coaches. I know, huh? How important is that to, to the overall program? I know it's it's important for my sanity. I can tell you that. Like having to go through that, do that, like that's a job. Like it just adds to your job as a head coach. I mean, it's not easy as it is dealing with all the other things you have to do to uh, go through. But when you don't have to hire a coach and you have that continuity, I think it's huge. I mean, you, you, you know, I'm not coaching a coach. You know, I'll, I'll say, for example, just watching the receivers in his second year and watching, you know, the guys play hard and play with effort out there. I mean, there were some things I threw in the team meeting today just with the receiver play of how hard they're playing now compared to last year. Last year, you know, Coach Woods figured it out and the receivers have figured out how, what they're supposed to do. And now it's like, you know, you know, a well-oiled machine, I guess, after two years and, you know, three years will be even better. So, you know, continuity is, is always real, real important. And there's always a guy last, this time last year that you guys were excited just to see him get more starting time. Mm -hmm. Now he's a guy with all that starting experience. What have you seen from him and his growth so far? You know, you see good stuff. I mean, you know, uh, we I think we got got after him as far as loafing the first two days. Just, you know, you know, maybe he thinks he's the guy and got enough reps that I'm the guy. And he's really stepped it up the last two days. I mean, he came out with an attitude on Saturday. Like, you know, he had too many loafs. I think he had him for five loafs. Should have zero loafs. You're supposed to be the leader. Um, so, you know, he's a football player. We know for sure. And, and uh, he's better right now than he was certainly, you know, at the end of the season last year. Seems to be a pretty healthy mix of old guys coming in from last year versus new guys coming in new to the program this year. How have you noticed some of those older faces ushering in the new faces to get him going with this program in the spring? You know, I think we got a lot of, you know, a lot of good leaders on the team. And so the older guys are always going to take those young guys, whether it's, you know, mid-year mid -year guys, whether it's Donovan McMillan and, and uh, Derek Davis and whoever they are, freshman, you know, Izzy Polk, um, but just bringing those guys, you know, in and, and, and teaching them. So, you know, the young guys have, have learned from the old guys, and that's kind of how we do things. But with the way the transfer portal works out, you talked about a couple of the transfers there. Is there more of a readiness within them, just stepping into spring ball, knowing they've done that whole thing before? Um, you know, I mean, they're not, they're not rookies, so it's definitely they're, they're ready. They're ready for a fresher start. And, 
Um, you know, I'm sure they've learned from where they were and how they're going to start a new, you know, a new life here in Pitt. But we'll be, we've been happy with those guys so far. Day Day Reynolds didn't exactly. Good. Good. There was a lot of good things said about Ryan Bear last season and his potential. How's he looking so far? He's a guard, right? Uh, he looks good. I mean, you see him walk. You know, he walked by you. Um, uh, he looks good. He, you know, he's he's playing left tackle right now, mm -hmm. but he can play. You know, he can play right tackle, left tackle, guard. You know, on either side, he can do anything. But no, he, he's looked well. I mean, after four days. Um, you know, we like where he is. I mean, he played for us a little bit last year, so we like where Ryan is. Where are you putting Jacoby? Jacoby's a guard as well. Mm -hmm. And some tight end, of course. Jerry's earlier question, why is it you've been able to retain coaches? What allows you to... You know, I don't know. You get lucky. Um, you know, I think a year ago, um, I think a year ago, um, after a championship season, you know, Heather and the athletic department stepped up, and the chancellor, you know, Gallagher, stepped up, and, and I think, you know, we got them paid better than they were. And, um, you know, I think that helps a ton. I think, you know, when you're taking care of your staff and, you know, and you're doing something to keep them, I think that helps. Brian Gandy was a guy that you taught us uh, last summer camp that really impressed you guys um, as, as he was working. How, what have you seen him in the sophomore start? Ryland's started fast. I mean, he's a, he's a football player for sure. Um, you know, you watch him on special teams. We even watched, you know, tape from last year when he did run down. I think he ran down in, you know, UCLA game as a gunner on the punt team. He's got a, he's got a high motor. He plays hard. He's smart. That guy's going to be a really, really good football player here, Pitt. Yeah, really good. Yeah, from Rodney's inception of this year as kind of the top back, more or less. Yeah, yeah, you know, Rodney. You know, we know he's a good back a year ago. He's 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 had a good camp so far, or spring camp so far. I mean, he's been good. I mean, um, you know, he hadn't made any huge, gigantic splash plays yet, but we haven't had a scrimmage yet. So, but he's you know. Uh, from what Coach Powell says, just with his individual stuff, he's done all the. He's he's much better detail player right now. He's just a year better. I mean, I think every year, I mean, you, you know, you get amazed at how how much you know improvement guys are going to make, even when you're not even coaching. You're not even you know on the field through the off season. And you know, I had Coach Stack come talk to you on Monday just about what they, the training, how fast they get, how strong they get, how much more confident they get coming into this new spring. But all our young guys, you know, just to keep growing, they're a year better. I mean, I look at Miles Austin. He's a much better player than he was a year ago. So some of these guys, you know, they, they grow up really quick and some grow up, it takes a little bit longer. So we're expect, you know, we, we expect a lot out of these guys. And, and sometimes, you know, you're going to get it fast. Sometimes it's going to take a little longer. I know last year there was a lot of talk about the strength numbers being up within really across the board in this program. How would you assess how these players entered the spring drills knowing that, you know, that standard needed to be kept up a little bit? Yeah, I don't have all the numbers on that. We haven't done, you know, we, we didn't do all that stuff. That'll be at the end of, you know, end of the summer program uh, going into fall camp that will really put the numbers together. So we didn't do anything numbers wise. I know they got a squat and a bench in. Um, and I know they had some good days down there, but you know, um, that's just the beginning. So we're not, you know, it's just a small window. We'd rather take a, you know, you know, instead of these small little gains that we look at, we'd rather have a, you know, a, a big, uh, you know, big number to work with and look at from, you know, where they came from, you know, January to August. Who are the guys taking the most charge you've seen as far as like setting the example and being the, the louder voices to keep getting people going? Um, you know, I mean, there's the guys that are going to, you know, talk a lot. There's going to be the guys that. Um, they're you know doing it by uh, example and they shut their mouth and they just work hard. But there's a lot of my, you know I hear. And I'll tell you the guys I hear. Um, you know sometimes you don't see what's going on in the locker room, uh, but um, you know I hear um, David Green a lot. I hear Marquez a lot. I hear Bub Means a lot leading. Uh, Matt Gonsalves leading. Um, you know Phil Jakovic. I hear him a lot. Like, he's not afraid to lead. Um, he, he's not shy. Um, and again, I see a lot of guys doing it by example. Other than your two returning starters, what wide receivers have caught your eye? Um, besides Bub and Kanate, and Kanate you know, has had a really, you know, so has Bub. They've been really, I mean, they are better football players right now than they were uh, at the end of the year. I mean, they've taken a step. Uh, other guys, uh, Jake McGonaghy's had a nice, nice camp walk on. Uh, that's made, as a matter of fact, he probably, probably about as good a day as you can have as a, as a, as a receiver today. Um, we'll look and see who he was going against, um, but uh, he made some plays. He actually made a nice touchdown catch down in this corner here, um, you know, from uh, Christian. But uh, uh, he had a nice day. He's he's well. You know, I mentioned Miles already. Um, you know, Day Day Reynolds has had a nice camp. He had a nice touchdown in this corner over here. So we red zone period down here at the end. Um, and um, I'm trying to think who else. Javante Royals working at it. Um, I'm trying to think. You know, the, the young kids. You know, Polk and. And um, and Seymour are doing a nice job for two young kids coming in, you know, 
17 years old, whatever they are. You know, they've been good. So they all um, have made some improvement. We'll find out when the pads come on. Those touchdowns, are they from uh, Phil, Christian, or someone else? A little bit of both. I mean, um, Christian, I know, was the last. No, it was Nate Yarnell was the last one here. I think uh, I think uh, Reynolds was, uh, um, who was it, Christian, I believe. You scrimmage on Saturday? We will scrimmage, yeah, at the stadium Saturday. Yeah. Uh, in, 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 yeah. Anything final? Coach, Anything else? For your time.